Here we have a GSI grain leg. It's got a 7,500 bushel per hour capacity. This unit was bought new in 2008 and never installed. Looking inside the head here, we have the top for the head over there. Here we have the boot. Very nice leg. Looking in at the boot pulley here. Here we are looking at the serial tag on the boot. Serial number 004688. Here is the head pulley. It's got heavy duty Dodge bearings and a Dodge shaft mount reducer. Motor mount components. This is the belt. It comes with a ball door, 40 horsepower, industrial duty motor, 208, 234, 60 volts. Leg was new in 2008 and never installed. Here we have our boxes of cups. They are 13 inch by 7 inch. Very nice, also never used. Here we are looking at the sections. We have 20 total 10 foot sections. That makes this leg 105 foot discharge height and 113 foot overall height. This is the hardware for assembling the sections together. And here we have three rest platforms. And here is your inspection section with the doors at the bottom. Looking here at the ends. Here we have the safety shield for the motor and reducer. Here we are looking at the uh, ladder and the safety cage that goes around the ladder. Here we are looking at the accessories for the distributor and the platform. We've got our uh, safety railing over here. Here we are looking at the six hole 12 inch distributor with elbows. And we also have here the squared around discharge for the head of the Beckett elevator. Also 12 inch. Here we have the 12 inch anchor clamps for the support trusses. Got a box of them here and their components. Here we have our three cushion boxes. Here we have two pallets of hardware for assembling the bucket elevator in the 105 foot tower for the buckets also.
here we have the Union Iron 8 foot by 8 foot by 105 foot tower. This also comes with the GSI leg, 320 feet of 10 gauge downspouting, 40 feet runs, 8 of them. Twelve inch in diameter. Here we are looking at a new dump pit made by Lowry Manufacturing. It was never installed. It was manufactured in 2008. Just going over it here, it's a very nice unit. See the new auger flighting. Got your Dodge reducer. Over here, we have the serial number 08600. Look inside the uh, hopper, this is a 650 bushel hopper. Over here is where your flighting would connect. Looking inside there, very clean. Here we are looking at the grate and the cover for the grate. And over here we have the legs for the bottom of the bin. One of the advantages to having this large dump pit is it helps keep your line of trucks moving. As one is finished unloading, you can be moving the next truck into position while the grain works its way to the leg and then eventually up into the big bin. This square flange would bolt onto your bin over there that I showed you earlier. And then this auger tube here would slide into it. What this does is it helps for easy replacement. If it were to wear out, you can pull it up out of there with your structure still in the ground, replace the tube and the auger, and go back to work. You can see the other flange on this end would bolt to that right here. And at this end you can see this opening is where it would discharge into the charging face of your bucket elevator.